हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डेली सर्विसेज बिल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली द डेली सर्विसेज बिल फॉर्मली कॉल्ड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ नेशनल कैपिटल टेरिटरी ऑफ डेली अमेंडमेंट बिल 2023 हैज बीन पास्ड इन राज्यसभा द बिल हैज बीन ऑलरेडी पास्ड इन द लोकसभा Now let's understand what is Delhi Services Bill. The Delhi Services Bill states that the inquiries and suspensions of the officials of the national capital will be under the center's control. The central government will be the rule-making authority. The lieutenant governor will be empowered to exercise his sole discretion on various matters which will include the recommendations of National Capital Civil Services Authority. and the prorogation summoning and dissolution of the delhi legislative assembly the bill provides for the formation of a national capital civil service authority in which the delhi chief minister the ex officio chairperson the chief secretary and ex officio member of this body and the principal home secretary of the delhi government the ex officio member secretary of the authority All matters before the authority will be decided by voting of the members. Now moving on to Supreme Court's verdict. In May this year the Supreme Court of India took the decision in favor of the government of Delhi giving it complete command over most services in the capital leaving out public order land and police. Now let's understand how is the bill different from the Delhi Services Ordinance. Section 45D of the bill deals with the power to appoint authorities, boards, commissions and statutory bodies. While in the ordinance all such powers lay with the president, the bill has added a sub clause B to the provision. The sub clause B allows the authority headed by the chief minister to recommend a panel of suitable persons for constitution or appointment or nomination by the lieutenant governor the power of the delhi government in this arena has been limited to only making recommendations also the law will reverse the effect of the supreme court verdict that had given the delhi government power over administrative services in delhi now it's time for the practice question consider the following statements regarding the delhi services bill One it states that the inquiries and suspensions of the officials of the national capital will be under the center's control. Two the bill provides for the formation of a national capital civil service authority in which the union home minister is the ex officio chairperson. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only two only both one and two or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Dishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.